we're out in a food plot today. It's uh, beginning of February. And one thing you can do this, this time that a lot of guys don't think about is when you got a big round food plot like this, you have to be a certain distance away from all the big trees to grow your annuals. You might think this whole thing would be good for growing uh, like a big and beastie or monster magnet or something you plant in the spring or the fall that, that needs full sun to, to really do as best it can do. But we're going to walk over to the south side of the food plot here and show you how to check the angle of the sun midday like it is about one o'clock right now and make sure that you're, that, that you're trying to grow the right kind of plot where you're at. So now we're on the south side of the food plot midday and you can see for probably the first 15 yards on the south side of this plot, it's the middle of the day and it's really shady. You're not gonna get an annual to grow real good here if you're trying to plant corn or beans or, or turnips or rape or anything like that, any kind of annual, they're just not gonna get enough sun here. This is gonna be a better spot to have some kind of shade tolerant mix in it. Maybe, maybe do this whole south edge with clover or chicory or something that doesn't need that full sunlight that can do it with four or six hours a day. And then when you look out this way, when we get 15, 20 yards away from the edge of the food plot, where the sun is really out there all day long, that is where you're gonna get the best growth on your annuals. So you just you know, get out in your spots before you plant and really take a look. I mean, if you got shadows on the ground midday and the sun's coming through the trees, it's not gonna be a good spot for an annual. Put a perennial there that's shade tolerant and um, save your annuals and that you're dumping all the fertilizer on for the wide open spots in the plot that are getting sunlight at least most of the day.